Okay, so <clears throat> here's some timers that uh, the chat sent me. This one here has actually been re whatever remanufactured. It's got a let's see where it says uh, remanufactured whirlpool. And what they do is they use these really cheap separators, these plastic separators, and as you can see. I mean, there's not much to them at all. There's not much holding them together. On these plastic separator things here, there's just like a minuscule little piece of plastic holding this separator arm to the separator bar. And what I could, what I had to do is, I had to glue this one back on. You can see, and because when I was pulling it apart it just broke it's it's barely hanging on there so that's a problem um, what I do usually is I'll pull the sets of points out and I'll sand them with some fine grit sandpaper and uh, and clean them up if the if the points are too far gone if they're burnt off there's no points on the arms and I really can't do anything with them but basically what I do is clean them up and then I loop, I look at the cog to make sure there's no burn marks on the cog here. Sometimes you can build the cog up with uh, JB Weld. But uh, <clears throat> this one here had a good cog and you can see where it was burnt. You can see some black spots on it. So I, I cleaned up the points with some fine grit sandpaper and hopefully it will all work good. Um, and then also of course I lube I lube the mechanisms here and the shaft as well, the shaft bushing with the tri-flow. And so, uh, yeah, that's your timer tip for today. If you need any timers rebuilt, you can contact me, 707-443-8347.